Hey everybody, this is Pastor Tyler Baker of Valiant Baptist Church, and we are located in the Jacksonville, Florida area. This is going to be part one of the series on alcohol in the Bible. And in this series, I'm going to be proving a couple of things. Number one, I'm going to be proving that according to the Bible, it is a sin for a Christian to even drink alcohol. Yes, if we study the Bible, it is very clear that a Christian is commanded to abstain from all alcoholic consumption, let alone to become drunken. But number two, and this is really the crux of the issue and where most people's confusion comes from, I'm also going to be proving that the word wine in the Bible is a very general word that just means juice. And when the word wine appears in the Bible, it can either be referring to fermented grape juice or unfermented grape juice. So that when you see the word wine, sometimes it is referring to alcohol, but sometimes it is referring to a beverage that is non-alcoholic, and it is just regular juice, oftentimes grape juice. Now I want to begin part one with actually where we left off in the introduction with Deuteronomy chapter number 32, verse number 14, and I want to make an application with that verse. The very last statement of Deuteronomy 32, 14 says this, and thou didst drink the pure blood of the grape. I want you to notice that the Lord is stressing or emphasizing the fact that what they drank was not just juice or not just wine. It was specifically the pure blood of the grape. This is clearly a non-alcoholic beverage. This is just regular grape juice. It's pure. It's wholesome. It's not a toxin. It's not unhealthy. It is a good, clean, holy drink. Well, I want to compare that to Deuteronomy chapter number 32, verse number 31. So it's here in the same chapter. Deuteronomy 32, verse 31 says this, For their rock is not as our rock, even our enemies themselves being judges. I'd like to make a quick point before I move on about something that's going to become relevant in the next couple of verses. I want you to notice there that Moses, when writing, made a distinguishment between his rock and their rock. Of course, the enemies of the Lord. And he says this is a difference. Their rock is not as our rock. I want you to notice this, that we both have a rock, but there are two different types of rocks. Our rock is, of course, the Lord, righteous, holy, and pure. Their rock is Satan. Their rock is the devil. He's impure. He's unrighteous. He's unholy. But we both have a rock. They're just different types of rocks. So their rock is not as our rock. Verse number 32, for their vine is of the vine of Sodom and of the fields of Gomorrah. Their grapes are grapes of gall. Their clusters are bitter. So he builds upon that same point and notice that now he's making a distinguishment between our vine and their vine. And he's actually negatively critiquing their vine. And he's pointing out things that are different about their vine in a bad way than our vine. And one of the things is he refers to their vine of being of Sodom and Gomorrah. Now, of course, the inhabitants of Sodom and Gomorrah were exceedingly wicked before the Lord. He also goes on and gives us a little bit of characteristics about it and says that their grapes are grapes of gall and their clusters are bitter. Verse number 33 says this, their wine is the poison of dragons and the cruel venom of ass. So verse number 33 elaborates on that same point a little bit more, but he goes further and he draws another distinction between our wine and their wine. So just like they have a rock and we have a rock, but they're two different types of rocks, they also have a vine and we have a vine, but they're two different types of vines. And furthermore, they have a wine and we have a wine but there are two different types of wines. I want you to notice that he is not saying, hey, we have the same type of wine, but they just abuse it. No, he's clearly saying that there's a difference between our wine and their wine. And what is the difference? Their wine is poisonous. He says that their wine is the poison of dragons and the cruel venom of asp. So what can we know that is a difference between our wine, Moses' wine, and their wine? Well, ours is not poisonous and theirs is poisonous. What did verse number 14 tell us in Deuteronomy 32? That the children of God did drink the pure blood of the grape. Now, if you don't know this already, alcohol is in fact a poison. It is a scientifically proven 
neurotoxin. That's why we will say when someone is drunken that they are intoxicated. Also, furthermore, if a person drinks a lot of alcohol, what will we say that they are? They have alcohol poisoning. Alcohol is in fact a poison and it is something that is not pure, it is not holy, and it is not clean. As I said, it is something that Christians need to stay far away from. We do not need to be drinking as Christians the grapes of Sodom and Gomorrah. We should not be drinking the poison of dragons and the cruel venom of asp. We as Christians should be drinking the pure blood of the grape. God bless you and have a good day.